Hello, my name is Mark Blocker, and in this segment we're going to cover hand filing chainsaws. Hand filing chainsaws is a method of using a hand file to sharpen the cutting teeth on a chainsaw. First off, you need to make sure you check with your owner's manual and make sure that you've got the right size file for the chainsaw itself. If you have too large a file for the cutting tooth, it's going to cut it in the wrong position and make it a dull. And if you have too small one, it cuts in too deeply and still doesn't set your cutting tooth correctly. So you have to have the right size file for the chainsaw. The next important thing to remember when filing a chainsaw is the angle of the cutting tooth. You want to have the same angle as the cutting tooth. Most of the cutting teeth on the back side of it, you'll see a diagonal line that's engraved or etched into the cutting tooth itself. That's the angle of the sharpening of what angle you want to sharpen with a file for that cutting tooth. Remember, files only cut in one direction. That's on a push stroke. So you want to push through the chain itself, release tension as you draw back. Because all you're going to do is pull down the cutting teeth on the file. And you want all your cutting teeth to be the same height. Once you select a tooth, you'll have to rotate the chain through, filing down each one at the same rate. So if you use three strokes to cut one tooth, you want to use at least three or keep the stroke amounts the same on each cutting tooth so you keep them the same height. After you've rotated through and done all the cutting teeth in one direction, you flip the chainsaw over and start using the same procedure, pushing through the cutting teeth, counting how many times, and move on to your next cutting tooth. And just continue that process till you've gone through. After you've sharpened all the cutting teeth, there's also a raker or rider that fits right between the two teeth. And what this is is a bar that adjusts how much of this cutting tooth is allowed to sink into the wood. As you grind away and sharpen the cutting teeth, they become shorter and that distance lowers. So you have to take a few strokes off your riders or the rakers themselves and file those down so that they match the height of your cutting tooth. There's attachments and guides for how much the, the rakers and cutting teeth can be cut. Please check your owner's manual prior to hand sharpening a chainsaw. So before you attempt to sharpen your chainsaw, check with the operator's manual or you can get the information offline from the manufacturer on what size file to use and what the proper procedures are for sharpening the teeth and lowering the riders on the chainsaw.